Hello all, greetings from CDFI. We are here to provide more information for you for the low cost application. Now, in this video, we will continue to learn how to build on the CLF profile. In the previous video, we were filling out the details of the Prerana Mahila CLF, and in this video, we will continue from where we left off. So, in the main page of the app, we will click on the CLF tab and go to the Prerana Mahila CLF profile. Since we have already filled out the basic details as seen in the previous video, we shall move to the next tab for CLF mapping. Under this option, we can easily map new VOs. For this we need to select the Gram Panchayat from the drop-down option provided to us. Accordingly we can proceed to map or unmap the Gram Panchayat. Since under this CLF, we have 14 VOs linked, hence we will not map them. Now we proceed to the next tab, the Ake Member tab. We need to check that all the Ake Members linked to the VOs. We can also see that on clicking the Total Member option, each of the VO has got Ake Members, and the respective signatories which is highlighted by the green tick. It is mandatory that the green tick is highlighted because it is necessary for a signatory to be present. Thus, if the green tick is not highlighted against the treasurer then we can click on the edit option and make the person the signatory. Going over to the next tab we can see that we are required to add the basic phone details in the name of the member who owns the mobile number. We can also add another member's contact details by simply clicking on the blue plus button. After saving the data successfully, we move to the next tab which is the address details. Click on the plus option and then add the block here it is, Muna can add the pin code. Finally, click on the add address button to update the data successfully. The next tab is that of the bank details. In this step we need to verify the bank details from the bank passbook. Click on the edit option and then carefully check all the details of the IFSC code, account opening date, branch address etc. Next step would require us to click a picture of the first page of the bank passbook. Hence, use the camera option to scan the first page and then click on the tick option to confirm the scan upload. proceed to click on the add bank option. We will encounter a pop-up message stating that, do you want to make this the default bank? Click on yes and hence the data will be updated successfully. It is possible that there are different banks for the CLF, hence to add another bank click on the blue plus button to add the bank details. The next step is to update the KYC. In the KYC tab, Select the type of document for the KYC process and enter the registration number, ID, along with entering the valid till date. Upload the photo of the registration ID by clicking on the camera option. Proceed to click on the Add KYC option. The next step is to add and create a committee and upload a subcommittee as well. We notice here that there are already committees made. Go to the blue plus button to add a new committee. Make sure that it is mandatory for a minimum of two members to form a part of the committee. So here since there is only one ache member, we click on the green plus button to add another ache member. So here we select the ache member and give the joining date and proceed to save.
since Sunita is already a part of the committee, we need to select some other member, hence we chose Kavita. Now the members have been added successfully. And now we have successfully managed to fill and save all the details of the CLF. This is it for today's video. For more updates, stay tuned.